Any true Kit Kat fan knows that the brand tends to go above and beyond when it comes to flavor experimentation. In Japan, where the chocolate bar reigns supreme, we've seen flavors like grilled potato, cherry blossom, blueberry cheesecake, and soybean. And now, right before the holidays, a treat for all whiskey lovers has arrived. A Kit Kat aged in Scotch whiskey barrels is launching this month, and we can't wait to try it. Named, Whiskey Barrel Aged, Nestle's newest Kit Kat combines two very different worlds, yet two that pair together well. Created by renowned Japanese patty CA, Yasumasa Takagi, the new Kit Kat seeks to capture Japan's huge whiskey fanbase, as well as the already large audience for unusual Kit Kat flavors. These will be available only at the higher-end Kit Kat chocolatory boutiques. Delving into the chocolate, the cacao nibs come from Ghana and are highly limited. The process involves aging cacao nibs as scotch whiskey casks for 180 days. The casks are rotated once a week to ensure that all the nibs come into contact with the interior surface of the wood. What's most surprising about this release is the type of barrels used. The casks come from the island of Isla in Scotland, home of peated scotch whiskey. Brands from Isla include Laphroaig, Ardbeg, Lagavulin, and Port Ellen. The expressions by these brands utilize peat, which is essentially decayed vegetation, when drying the barley. After the barley is broken down and distillation takes place, the peat imparts a very unique, smoky, earthy character to the whiskey. Isla whiskey enjoys somewhat of a cult following worldwide. While some have a hard time appreciating the intensity, those who do become lifelong fans. The choice of peated whiskey barrels in an interesting one by Nestle, especially when the new Kit Kat is exclusive to Japan, a market known for its love of smooth, subtle blends and single malt whiskies. In the past, two men, Masataka Taketsuru and Shinjiro Torii started Japan's whiskey industry. Torii with his company, Suntory, aimed to create smooth, elegant whiskies for the Japanese palate. Taketsuru, after living in Scotland, wanted to create punchier, peated whiskies, which he began doing at his own distillery, Yoichi. Taketsuru did, however, manage things at the Yamazaki distillery for 10 years before moving on to create Nika. To this day, the two companies, Suntory and Nika, are the biggest competitors in Japanese whiskey. The new Kit Kat packaging depicts the whiskey in orange and gold as it transitions into brown and ultimately black, for the chocolate. The tasting notes prepare us for rich bitter chocolate notes paired with subtle earthy notes and campfire smoke. The finish is stated to be long and satisfying, with abundant depth, unlike any other chocolate. As the cacao nibs used are quite rare, the release will only be available in winter, from December 15 at the 7 Kit Kat Chocolatory Boutiques. At only two United States dollars.